morning. We have not been putting much into our channel lately, not doing regular updates. And uh, I know a lot of you wondered why that is. It's just, oh, the truth is right now life is, it's not very fun. And it's hard to, it's hard to want to pick up the camera when things are going poorly. Um, family's healthy, all the humans are in great shape. But we're having a lot of trouble with animals and it's, it's just, I don't know, it's not fun to kind of air your failures and we've done that a little and sometimes we've got picked on for it. And uh, sometimes we've been really encouraged by the people who watch and um, thank you for reaching out and encouraging us. Um, today's gonna be one of those down days. We woke up this morning, it was four, negative four, negative five, something like that. It's really cold, I gotta switch hands because this is freezing. Um, really cold morning. Uh, we've had some goats that were acting oddly in the last few days and with the cold weather they're acting even worse, barely barely able to walk. Uh, we've been supplementing them with all kinds of feed that we would not normally give our goats because we're kind of in an emergency situation. And uh, today we're gonna try to move them into the barn just to try to bring them up to temperature and see if they'll improve. It's not great. Um, it sucks to it sucks to talk uh, publicly when things are going poorly. We may not even air this. I don't know, but I gotta, I guess, get it off my chest. We've had trouble keeping enough food on hand for our animals, only because with the, when the snow comes in, um, it makes mobility really hard. It makes moving a trailer almost impossible. Um, we bought a new truck that has different sized tires and it's a detail, it's a little detail, like um, we, the snow chains for our old truck don't fit the new truck. So we've done all these crazy things to, to make it work and, and uh, every little thing, you know, you think about when you're living out here, we're not alone. I mean, we have neighbors and we help them, they help us. It's, it's a really good relationship, but um, you feel pretty alone and you think about things like we have, you know, less than a week's worth of hay on property right now and it's supposed to keep snowing. Last night uh, in the dark I went out and met a guy and got a couple rounds of hay and uh, just, the, just the little silly things like our gate to the, to the cow pastures is frozen shut and needs to be dug out. I couldn't roll the bale in there so here we are. We got, we got a half a bale or a, a bale. I just rolled it up to the gate and let the cows eat through the fence which is not ideal. Um, but we had to get some more food in them last night so just they could stay warm. They look good this morning. Good morning, ladies. Um, we've got some hard decisions around the corner. We, uh, we've been striking out on cows. We've had some accidents. We've made some mistakes. Um, we've had some, some health issues. We've had a very, very difficult time having, getting them bred. Um, and uh, that sucks. And it's not the cow's fault, but some of these cows have to go. And uh, that's going to be a hard decision. That's going to be an extremely emotional decision, um, especially for Deanna, who loves these animals and has put a lot of her heart into these animals. But that, uh, I don't know, that's one of the options. What else? The timber frame business actually has, an, has some opportunities. We've got several leads for work that needs done people people are interested in the timber frames they uh, they're usually not interested in them right now most of the time they're saying let's talk about spring let's talk about spring probably have five solid leads for work that I could start now but this is gonna be another trouble troublesome thing it's really really hard to move logs and mill logs in the snow we've learned that each winter here um, it can be done it just takes twice as long and it's hard to unbury everything. The upshot is we have the barn closed off. Um, it's not like insulated, but it's out of the weather. And so we have a wood stove in there, so we're able to kind of keep keep uh, the immediate area warm. At least you can set your tools down and warm your hands. And Oh, my beard's frozen. Ooh. Warm your hands, and it's that's, that's working. Uh, we haven't got any contracts signed for the next month or two, so that's going to be a slim time 
money-wise, and unfortunately that's the time we spend the most on animal feed. So all those things culminate into kind of a bummer. I mean, it's, it's hard. And you look at it from the outside and you're like, well, you chose to live out here and that's true. And you chose to buck the system and that's true and we're happy we did. But right now it's just, it's just rough. Let's go check on those goats. Hey, almond. Here you go, baby. Can we just roll her out and just like dump it in? Is she better or worse? It's hard to say. Older, I'd say. Um, I do think she's worse, but she... It's funny because she gets... She gets onto her back legs better than Almond does, but she still won't stand up all the way. She, um... And Almond still likes scooting around and stuff. Yeah, she's more lethargic than Almond is. Okay, see if she'll kiss me. Um, no, no, no. Yeah. That's really, really gross. <sighs> Survivor man. Get on your feet, girl. You're okay. I said it was gonna be a rough day and it has been. Um, we have a third goat with problems, a baby, and we think he fell down and got stuck under the hay feeder and got really cold, but Gabriel heard him from far away, he ran out there and checked on him and picked him up and tested his mouth and he was very, very cold. So we brought him in, put him in a bathtub, which based on the water, I mean, he could have used it, right? It was gross, he was so dirty. But um, got him really warm for a couple hours and now we're just blow drying him and drying him off. Probably we'll put some towels in and let him sleep in that tub tonight, yeah? It's so cold. It's already single digits and the sun just set. So it's a cold one. But he's eating a few pellets. And uh, I don't know. Just It's just it's hard to guess. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for the other two as well because they're real responsive. Like I walk out there and open the alfalfa and they jump. I don't know if I showed you. I open the alfalfa and they like, their heads perk up and they spin around. And they, but they can't stand up. So we'll see. Do you think is he gonna make it? I hope so. I didn't think so. Um, even an hour ago, I was like, "There's no way." Like, probably before bed, we're gonna have to take care of him, you know. Yeah. But um, he stood up. He stood up. I think he was afraid of the water. I really like. As soon as I drained the water out, he started moving, and then as soon as the water was all gone, he stood right up. Like, oh. it was weird. And then he slipped because it's a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> and fell down, and then he wouldn't get up again. <laughs> very goat so, proof. No, but well, he's eating the alfalfa pellets. Yeah, he is. If we get him to drink something, he'd probably be out of the woods, huh? Yeah, we need water with apple cider vinegar. Actually. Yeah, I already made some for the other goats. They wouldn't drink it, though, but...
It's like midnight. I got up <clears throat> to check on this little guy. and He's, uh, I can stand him up. He can't stand up, but I can stand him up and he can stay standing. So that's, I guess, a good sign. Uh, he eats really well. He won't drink anything. We gave him some um, beet pulp. Um, supposed to be high carbohydrates, so it kind of should give him some energy, but I don't know. He might make it. I'm going to get up every two hours and feed the fire with the other two goats and then probably give him a handful of alfalfa pellets and try to get him to drink something. Hey, buddy. Okay, that little guy's gonna make it at least one more day. He's on his feet, he's eating, he's drinking. Um, he's actually walking around pretty well. If you give him some pellets, he'll chase you around, so that's good. Now I have the unenviable task of cleaning out my bathtub. My bathtub needs a shower. A healthy goat will make lots of reminders of his night. So that's my job. Thanks for joining us on the channel. Hey, we're really glad you come along. It's one of those things where even when stuff is rough, it's kind of nice to know that other people are following along and cheering you on. We'll see you on the next one.